Hello, in this video we will show you how to install a Gerber floor mount tub filler roughen valve. This floor mount tub filler roughen valve is compatible with any of Gerber's floor mount tub filler trim kits. The floor mount tub filler roughen valve must be installed under the floor prior to installing a floor mount tub filler. There are some basic tools and supplies you will need for installation. These include an adjustable wrench, safety glasses, hex wrenches, pipe tape, electric drill, level, L-square ruler, flathead screwdriver, tape measure, tube cutter, silicone sealant, mallet, half-inch NPSM male threaded hose adapters with compatible threaded hoses, and a pencil for marking. You may also find it helpful to have a bucket, towel, flashlight, and gloves handy. Before you begin, make sure that you have all the necessary components. Use the rough and valve installation manual to double check that you have all of the parts. Before installing, don't forget to check local and state building codes to make sure you are in compliance. Based on the building's construction, the rough and valve will either be installed on top of a stringer board as shown here, or on a concrete surface in which a void has been created as shown here. Determine bathtub placement and mark the tub's outline. Now, choose the desired location of the tub filler based on the placement of the bathtub. The tub filler can be placed anywhere around the tub. You may also want to consider water supply line access as you determine the tub filler location. It may be easier to install the rough in where water supply lines are most accessible. For this installation, we want the tub filler to be at the head of the installed tub, opposite from the drain. Now mark the nearest edge of the tub where you want the faucet to be. The center of the rough in valve selected location should be within four inches to six inches from the edge of the bathtub as shown. This roughen valve accommodates an installation depth between 3 inches and 6 inches below where the finished floor line will be. Use a level to ensure the stringer board is even. This will help make sure the faucet will stand straight when it's installed. Please note that the stringer board must be at least 2 inches thick and at least 8 inches wide for proper installation. If installing on concrete, use a level to make sure the base of the void is even. Use the minimum and maximum guidelines on the plaster guard to ensure the valve is positioned at the proper floor depth. These guidelines make it easy to determine the proper depth placement of the valve before the finished flooring is installed. The thickness of the finished floor should be between these two markings. Turn the valve upside down. Locate the H and C marks on the valve. This will indicate where to connect your hot and cold supply lines. To ensure the proper spout orientation to your tub, make sure one of the six screws on the rough end valve will align with the tub edge marking. Also, orient the valve so the hot and cold valve outlets are closest to their respective hot and cold water supply lines. Use the rough end valve as a guide. Mark the mounting holes. If attaching to a stringer board, use a quarter inch drill bit to drill four mounting holes as shown. If installing on a concrete slab, use a quarter inch masonry bit to drill four three inch deep mounting holes. Insert one concrete anchor, which are included, into each pilot hole. Realign the rough end valve to the pre-drilled mounting holes. Make sure the hot and cold inlets are in the correct orientation. Secure the rough end valve to the stringer or concrete with the four mounting screws provided. Once the valve is attached, use the flat surface of the plaster guard to ensure the valve is level. Use a screwdriver to fully tighten attachment screws to secure. Apply sealant tape to the threaded connections. Thread hot and cold supply assemblies into the rough and valve inlets. Now remove the plaster guard by unscrewing the attachment screws from the assembly. Please set the plaster guard and screws aside for later. Ensure your water supply is on prior to testing. Now you can perform pressure testing. Check for leaks at all connection points. Once pressure testing is complete, you can flush the lines. You can flush hot and cold lines individually or both at the same time. We'll flush both lines at once. Remove the test plugs from the outlets. Attach the adapters with half-inch NPSM male threads to each outlet. Attach adapters to compatible threaded hoses. Direct the other end of the hoses into the bucket. Turn on the water supply valve and run until the lines are fully flushed and no debris remains in the lines. Turn off the water supply valves. Remove the hoses and adapters, using the towel to catch any residual water in the hoses. Reattach the test plugs into the valve outlets. Reattach the plaster guard to the valve. Now the finished floor can be installed. Once the finished floor is installed, you can install your Gerber floor mount tub filler. For instructions on how to install the floor mount tub filler kit, 
please refer to that video on Gerber's website. If you have any questions while installing the floor mount tub filler roughen valve, please know our dedicated technical support team is here to help. Please visit gerber-us.com support to view contact information and hours of service. Congratulations, you have successfully installed one of Gerber's floor mount tub filler roughen valves. Designed for our floor mount tub fillers, this valve will provide lasting functionality and exceptional performance. Thank you for choosing Gerber.